Hey everyone. So in the previous video, we've been creating abilities and we added them in the sorcerer talent tree. But as you can see, we made sure they were working. We have fireball, we have a fire rain here, but uh, this talent tree is quite boring, right? So there is not much in there. There are just two abilities. So I would like to populate this a little more. So I prepared this list here of abilities and bonuses I would want to add for the talent tree. And um, this is going to include a fire wave con. So in this case, it's going to be a 90 degree con in front of us, applying a burn effect to enemies. A pyroblast, which is essentially a stronger fireball. A fire pillar, which is going to be a ground ability. So you aim as a ground and it's going to deal damage in the area. And fire aura, which is going to be a self buff. So for a specific duration, we will have uh, a buff on our stats or something. So for the bonuses, we are going to have a passive fire damage bonus, a passive fire penetration, a passive intellect buff, and a passive CD recovery. So let's get into it. I'm going to start by the fire wave. And for that, I'm going to create, um, well, actually uh, pre-made some um, effects just so it's saving some time for this video. But as you can see here, uh, this is the burn effect I'm going to use for the fire wave. So it has a name, it has an icon. Most effects do not need an icon, but if they are a state, so meaning that they will stay for a certain duration on a target, then they need an icon because they will be visible in your game UI. So um, the burn is just a damage over time um, effect, which is on magical damage, dealing fire damage as elemental and dealing a um, total of 25 damage over three seconds. So here you see that the duration is three seconds and the pulse count is also free, meaning that it will start hitting and then every one second it will tick again and it can stack up to three times. For the pyroblast, it's a very uh, similar effect than the fireball, but it's just dealing more damage. And for the fire aura, here we have a stat effect in this case, it's giving us um, a few different stats. So it's giving us a 250 fire damage boost, which is pretty big, you know, but it's so that it's obvious in the video when we use above. It's giving us lifesteal, and it's also going to give us um, agility. So um, yeah, in this case, we will have a uh, lifesteal bonus and agility is going to give us some crit chance. So, and there is one last, which is a fire pillar, but once again, it's just an instant damage effect with a different value. Now let's create those abilities together so you get um, used to it a little more. Let's create the fire wave ability. We have an icon for it. I'm going to keep it very simple for this video. I'm going to only have one rank per ability. I'm not going to bother with ranking and stuff like that. I, want, I would like to keep it as short as possible. But of course, we could have as many ranks as we wanted for those abilities. So the fire wave is going to be a con ability. It's going to hit enemy mobs. The range is going to be something like four, maybe uh, 90 degrees angle. It's going to hit only once and a maximum of 10 units. It's going to have a four second cooldown, maybe a bit more, maybe six, six. And it's going to apply one effect, which is the burn effect. Now, when it comes to the visual part of the abilities we will create for uh, this video, I pre-made them. Um, it would have been way too long to do it on video. I'm going to make specific videos about spell effect creation, animation, stuff like that. But for this video, I pre-made a few so that I can use them. So uh, in this case, it's going to uh, have the con fire as a um, particle. And I'm not going to bother with animation for these uh, abilities. So. Um, the next one is going to be, I think, the fireball, uh, the pyroblast, my bad. So the fire wave is done. Let's now do the pyroblast. It's going to use the same icon as the fireball because it's not a huge deal. And the cast time is going to be two seconds. So it's going to be a longer, almost, uh, well, actually more than twice the um, time for fireball. It's also going to be a projectile going to hit enemy mobs. So projectile is going to go a bit slower, maybe 35, uh, 50 distance, only one projectile. So the count, if the count is one, it's going to shoot one projectile only. And it's going to hit only once, meaning that as soon as it hits an enemy, it's going to get destroyed. The cooldown, we don't really care. 
and um, let's um, make the pyroblast. Okay, so I actually uh, didn't plan on doing that, but let's make the pyroblast apply two effects. So first, it's going to deal the pyroblast damage, which is instant damage, and let's make it also apply the burn effect. All right. So in this case, we will see um, we will now be able to stack burn multiple times. So one time with fire wave and one time with um, the pyroblast. And for the uh, projectile uh, visual, it's going to be the power blast. And here you see that I select completed because we don't want the projectile to be uh, casted, you know, um, as soon as we use the ability. It has to be casted only after the incantation. And for the animation, we will also leave it empty for now. So that's done for the fire power blast. Let's make the fire pillar. This one is going to use an icon I prepared before. It's going to cost also one to unlock. And uh, no cast time, it's going to be a ground ability. It's going to hit enemy mobs. Radius is going to be pretty small. I think something like maybe one. We will see, maybe we will have to tweak it a bit. The range may be 10. It's going to take um, 0 0.75 seconds to hit. And it's going to hit only once. And uh, a maximum of 10 units. The cooldown will be 4 seconds, and this time it's going to have the uh, fire pillar damage. And um, on activate, it's going to use the um, this one. And that's it. So now the fire aura. So this is going to be our self buff. And I'm going to use something like that. Let me see. It's okay, we don't really uh, care too much about icons in this video. So, also one point to um, learn, it's not going to cost anything. This is going to be a self ability. So as you see, self has no specific settings. It's just going to be used on yourself. The second is going, uh, the cooldown is going to be half a minute. And the effect applied, so what effect is going to give us is a uh, fire aura. And uh, I prepared a project, um, a particle effect so i'm just going to uh, leave that like this and save that i'm just going to check the uh, duration of fire aura it's six seconds and um i want this to be six seconds only okay so now we created all those new abilities um that was pretty quick but we still can't have them in game yet so we have to add them to a talent tree in this case we would just go in the sorcerer talent tree and start adding our new abilities. So um, we have the fire wave, and uh, it's going to be represented on uh, the right on the of the tree. So first, I mean second tier, and on the sixth slot. It doesn't make much sense what I'm doing right now if you didn't see the previous videos, but if you didn't, definitely check talent trees video extra. I'm going to, I mean, it's uh, videos about explaining how the UI work extra. So um, let's make it have a requirement. So maybe we require the fireball ability to be known. Then this one is going to be the power blast. And um, I'm going to make it on the fifth tier and at the middle. And this one is also going to require the fireball ability to be known. So the fireball is in this tree is kind of going to be the, the starting point. Um, now we have fire pillar, so this could be um, on the fourth, on the sixth, and it's going to require the fire wave this time. Okay, and I think we have one last to add, um, the fire aura. So the fire aura is going to be on its own, um, maybe here, yeah, that should be fine. And this is not going to require anything. If I now hit save and go in game, we should be able to um, not only learn all those abilities, but use them and it should work out of the box. So THMSV, let's create a new character. Let's go to the talent tree. And you see here that our talent tree is now a little more interesting. Still not crazy, but it's, you know, a good start. So we still have those... Um, Abilities here actually I'm going to unlearn the fireball and you see that we can't learn the fire rain We can't learn the fire wave. We can't learn those abilities because fireball is not unlocked yet 
but now that it is we can and um, we can go ahead and learn them all so what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to slot them to my action bar and that's it so let's try them we have the fireball of course this was already made before so we know that those two abilities fireball and fire rain are both working and now we have the fire wave so I'm going to wait for this to finish and you see that we have this fire wave which is you know a fire con and indeed um, it is applying a burn effect on the um, target as you can see here we now have this ground ability so um, it is not letting us go uh, further than the range we assigned and if I click here it should you know spawn the particle effect and deal damage after uh, the time we um, set in the editor and it is indeed working but uh, the effect is not really matching the um, size actually let me let me check something is this accurate here okay let's tweak this a bit together so you see that it's very easy and quick to tweak your ability so you see right here um, we are indeed not hitting the dummy because it's outside of this area but the particle effect is super big so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead go here and reduce this oh wait I think I know why um, colon fire it has to use this uh, particle instead it should be better now yeah exactly I actually created two one big one small and I forgot to assign the right one so you see that now it's you know fitting a little more um, the uh, ability and now it's hitting um, and it's you know more accurate visually the particle itself is not what is deciding if uh, we hit or not this is of course um, based on the uh, code and calculations but it's better if the effect is actually um, f uh, fitting that so now we have the fireball uh, the power blast my bad and this is a much bigger um, well fireball it is the same effect but it's much bigger it's also longer to cast and you see that it's doing a lot of damage and it's also applying a burn so what could be interesting is if we try to stack it two times so we apply this burn and now I um, uh, stack it with fire wave also and the last ability is uh, the fire aura so I'm going to use this and class power blast and you see the damage we did and on top of that you also see that we are healing ourselves here um, because we had lifesteal and we also had some extra crit chance so um, I'm going to wait for the cooldown to be up again and use it again because it's pretty cool to deal some big damage I'm going to try to make a combo so just a few seconds left okay so I'm going to use the fire aura, fire rain and the power blast so yeah that was a lot of damage of course we uh, added ourselves 250 uh, fire damage so it's quite a lot and it's also adding some crit chance and things like that so yeah pretty cool and um, here we have the stats I actually recently made it um, update every time the stats are actually changing so it doesn't have to be refreshed so if you look for example here we see that we have a zero fire damage bonus but if I do um, if I do uh, use the buff now you see that we have 250 so that's it that was pretty much it for the active abilities 